about last week, I was on my holidays. But this week, I'm back from my holidays. And uh, back at work, which means working in one of the dodgier areas of Belfast. So when I was on my lunch break today and thinking of what I wanted to eat for my dinner, which was something Mexican, I was thinking beanie burritos. Hmm, all I need are some beans and, uh, you know, some burrito. Where I work, finding interesting beans quite difficult. You can get baked beans with sweet chilli and baked beans with curry, but nothing much else. And then I stumbled upon this. I am in no way being paid to advertise these by this company. I'm quite sure other refried beans are available. Do you think a company would pay me to advertise shit? I don't think so. Anyway, I found these, picked them up, looked at the ingredients and realised that all they contain is cooked beans oil, salt and some dried onion powder. Now I don't know about you, but I think life is too freaking short to get pretentious about a bit of dried onion. So we'll use these for the foundation of my baby burritos. Oh yeah! I have an onion sliced here, quite finely, like so. So I'm going to heat the frying pan over a high-ish heat and add my onion into that. Mm. Delicious. Well, not delicious yet, but it'll get there. I'm going to take a pepper and I'm going to bring this down to show you exactly what I do with the pepper. Where I cut round, cut round, cut round, cut round, and then I cut off this bottom bit here. I get rid of these white membranes because they're nasty and bitter I don't like that. Then I cut my pepper into slices like so. There's another little bit of that white stuff to come off. And some more peppers slice up. Excellent. I put the peppers in with the onions and I kind of give that a casual stir every now and then. Not too often, but you know, often enough so they don't burn or anything. Then what I do is I get my other stuff ready. Okay, I'm going to need some coriander, the world's most amazing herb. Um, I love coriander, so I kind of tend to put about half a big handful per person for each burrito. Mr. P can just deal with these things, you know, let's do it that way. I'll put my coriander in the I get my avocado and I bear it like so, slicing all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, twisting, and you have half an avocado. onion on the floor and you add your spices okay so you add, want to add one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of smoky paprika one teaspoon of um, brown sugar and one teaspoon of coriander if 
you are in a more salubrious supermarket than the one I was in, and you notice like a Tex-Mex or American style seasoning, feel free to use it. Life is short. I don't have time for differentiation of spices. And stir that around so that they are cooking up nicely. Excellent. So I have my avocado, have my coriander, have my peppers cooking away. What I want to do then is get my demented lady out and grate up some cheese. Like so. Cheese is a deeply personal thing. I like a lot. Mr. B, he only likes a little. So grate up however much cheese it is that floats your own personal burrito boat. Mmm, cheese. And you can use whatever freaking cheese you want. Cheddar, red lobster, mozzarella. I don't know. Cheese it up, baby. Anyway, after about two or three minutes, you put your can of beans in with your peppers and your onions. Obviously, if you are a pretentious person, well, you're probably not watching a video from me on YouTube. But if you have access to proper beans and that's the thing you want to do, then you can cook the beans, drain the beans, salt the beans, steep the beans, all of those kind of things with the beans. And then at this point, add them to your pan. And then you want to add about 50 millilitres of water just to kind of loosen up the bean business a little. And it makes a sort of sizzle so you feel like you're a proper chef, even though you're only heating up a gram of beans. And you mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Mmm. Oh, so good. You taste a little to see if it's salty enough. But remember, you're adding cheese. Maybe. Anyway, then you get some wrap. I tend to get plain ones and you open the packet. If you're making YouTube videos, opening the packet in advance can be quite a good idea. You get some oil and you rip off a rectangle of oil. Then you put one wrap into the foil. You add a smear of sour cream, creme fraiche, natural yogurt, whatever floats your boat in the middle of that. And then you add some of the beany, oniony, peppery mix. Mm. Excellent. Top of that, you put some cheese. Put the cheese first because then it melts nicely. Then you put your coriander in abundance. Then you put your avocado also in abundance. Then you put a squeeze of lime. And then you put some other lettuce. I'm using baby spinach. Obviously there's some pretension, even in the dodgy parts of Belfast. But you can use iceberg, you can use round lettuce, you can use whatever floats your boat. And to mix, wrap it up, you fold in the two sides. I take the ends 
you fold it over as much as you can and you pull it in towards you and then you roll that over and then you wash your hands wrap up your burrito and twist the ends so it's kind of a little bit like a cracker then when you're ready to serve you can give somebody their burrito and they can just peel off the end and eat. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I enjoyed making it. See you again soon!